there, my name is Claire. I am with the Delight Cohort BB. Um, we are going to be doing an impressionistic painting today for our Creative Foundations class. And I'm going to teach you how to do this. The materials that you're going to need are going to be a 12 by 18 inch piece of white construction paper. And then we are going to need an assortment of colors. I just had a bunch of tempera paint that I used and I mixed up various colors here and you can use any colors you want. I do have some different paint brushes because we can go back and add some detail to our painting after we've finished with the stamping technique today that we're going to be doing. We are going to be doing a vase with flowers and how we're going to be doing that is using wax paper and our paint. And we are going to be using these little cotton swabs here to apply the paint to our wax paper. So I'm going to show you how to do this. To begin, you can either use construction paper to cut out and apply a vase to your actual piece of paper for your painting. Otherwise, you can go ahead and actually paint one on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint one on and I'm going to do that with the brown color that I have here. stamp with, we are going to stamp three different times with the same sheet of wax paper. Okay, and for this technique, you don't necessarily need wax paper, but it is the most accessible. You just need something that it's the paint is not going to penetrate through or soak up into whatever we're using to stamp. I'm just going to take my cotton swab here and dip it into my red color. And then I'm going to just put it within my sheet of wax paper here. I'm going to do the same thing with a little bit of blue. Okay, and then I did take out a little bit of yellow. So I'm just going to apply that. Okay, then I'm going to fold it. Okay, and then we are going to let the colors combine, and then when you open it up, you see you kind of have this flower design here, and then we are going to do it one other time, and then we have a third time here. <laughs> stamping and we're building up that design. Of course, you know, sometimes they get so light so you'll have to build your first stamp maybe closer to ones that are lighter just to contrast it a little bit. And once you have filled out your vase, it should look a little something like this, not with the colors, maybe not with the same vase, but it should look like a bouquet of flowers from far away. 